What's up guys, it's Chad here with Drew Fuse coming to you from my kitchen again today. If you've been following the channel, you know Bodie G, my golden retriever, is still doing well. Uh, it's the first week in January of 23. Uh, I got him something for Christmas. Obviously, I haven't put it together yet. Um, it is a brand new crate pad from Amazon. So stay tuned, I'm going to do the review on it right after this. picked up this crate pad off of Amazon. Let me get out my phone really quick. Um, it is the Epsine Stylish Dog Crate Pad. All right, I got it in the extra large size, okay, which is 41 inches by 28 by three inches. Uh, my crate is exactly 41 inches, um, so hopefully this will fit right down in the bottom and not be all bunched up. So we'll see if that is the case. All right, so gonna open this thing up. It says do not use a knife because you don't want to cut it. Um, but we'll see if I can do it without the knife and uh, I'll go from there. All right, I'm going to need a knife. So here's the knife. Let's get this thing opened. Obviously be careful you don't want to cut the material or you're already, you know, it's already going to kill us life. All right. This thing is actually wound super tight with some cable ties. I don't know if you can see it. It kind of looks like something a drug mule might be carrying. But anyways, we're going to cut these bad boys and this thing should expand when air gets in here. So we'll see if that is the case. Eh, maybe not. Nope. This thing is vacuum sealed though. As you can see, um, the bag is very tight. So let's get this opened. Ooh, man. They actually did a super good job on the vacuum sealing. There's very little in the way of a gap between the heat seals and the actual pad. So you have to be very careful. Again, I don't want to actually cut the pad. There we go. You hear it? I don't know if you can hear that on the thing, but it's actually, uh, air is getting in there and the pad is actually rising, which is kind of cool. All right, there we go. All right, I got it out enough. So we should be able to just slide it on out. Well, there we have it. I'm going to do a close-up and show you exactly what we have. Here is the product. Again, the air just came right in there and filled it up. It's got a nice little paw emblem right here. I can't really say, but I do believe it is three inches thick. It does have a nice gray, uh, nice suede material. Okay. And on the bottom, if you see here, it's got a nice gray texture grip to it. However, there's also a nice zipper so you can remove the outer case and throw it in the wash, which is a nice feature as well. All right, it has one tag. It has the brand name, Epsign, made in China, obviously, off of Amazon. It definitely is the extra large size. They have like one size bigger than this. So, um, yeah, there's that. This is the location of our kennel. It is, or crate, whatever you want to call it. It is in our master bath. It's a very strategically placed here on purpose. Um, but obviously we have tile floors in here and it's very echoey. Uh, but this is kind of what I'm hoping the crate pad kind of alleviates. So here we go. Kennel. All right. All that noise you just heard, it's super echoey and actually is very loud, especially when he kind of hops in there a little bit quicker. Um, so, you know, multiple times throughout the night, um, he comes, you know, jumps off of our bed, wants to get cool when he comes in here, lays in here, and wakes up us sometimes, and then wakes up the kids that are like right next to this room. So I'm gonna put the crate pad in there and we'll see if that cuts down on the noise. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed and have the camera in my other hand. So we'll see. Again, this, this crate is a 41 inch crate and it's saying that this crate pad is 41 inches as well. So let's see how good this thing fits. 
very similar color, which is nice. It doesn't like stand out. They do make different colors. I believe tan, lighter gray, some browns. All right, let's see that. Over here, boy. Come here, come. Oh, he wants to go in. Oh, silence. Yes, down. Oh boy, would we like that? Is that better, nice and soft on the old hiney? Yeah. No, no, well, we'll see how long this crate pad lasts. Well, that concludes my review of this crate pad. We've had it for three weeks now. Um, dog still loves it. Um, he has kind of, um, he has kind of gnawed a little bit on just the edges. Uh, I haven't, he hasn't pierced it or broken through it at all. So I'm gonna give this thing two thumbs up at this price point and the nice fit and size that fits perfectly for my crate. See how he kind of pulls up on the edges there? Um, he does that, but um, all in all, it's cut down on the, the noise we were trying to cure. And I do believe he likes laying on it a lot more than just the standard rubber pad at the bottom. So again, two thumbs up. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, come back and see Bodie.